What's up guys, my name is Brendan and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on the cork. The only prerequisite that I have for you guys is that you can already do a tricking gainer. A cork and a gainer have about the same amount of flip, so if you can do a tricking gainer, it's a good tell that you're ready to do a cork. Now the cork starts just like the gainer, in an eagle position. Now here I'm going to demonstrate Euro step, but you can get into that eagle position however you want. You can do a scoot, you can do a rise, but as long as both your arms are back behind you, your hands about waist level, and your right leg is cocked back, ready to swing if you twist to your left, you'll be good to go. Just find your way to that eagle. From the eagle position, we're going to initiate our swing. And how we're going to initiate that swing is we're going to take our arms from behind us, we're going to pull them up parallel with the ground. We're also going to do the same thing with our right leg, and we're going to kick it as hard as we can between our left ear and our left shoulder. Kicking our leg at an angle will give your cork that off-axis look that's so synonymous with the skill. Now, as you drive the swing, make sure you're jumping off your plant leg. For me, it's my left leg. I need to jump super hard off my left leg to get all the height I need to get all the way over in the court. I can't do all the work with just my swing leg and my arms. I need to jump a little bit, and that's why I have that left leg, my plant leg. Once we've left the ground, we're going to initiate our twist, focusing on the three cores of twisting. First, our arms. We're going to pull our arms towards our left shoulder. As we do that, we're going to turn our hips to our left, and bring our knees together. Now, I like my corks to look icy, similar to Micah Carnes. To do that, what I do is I keep my right leg straight and I bend my left leg. Doing that gives me that figure four position that is so iconic with the icy cork. But you don't really need to do that. It's an aesthetic choice that I make. After you're done your twist and you respot the ground, all you need to do is open up back into that eagle. The cork ends in the same position it started in. You're going to be in that eagle, and then you're going to end in that eagle. That's why you're able to do cork chains. Cork, 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 cork. It's because it starts and ends in the same body position. When you do your cork, I really want you guys to focus on four main body positions. The eagle in the beginning, the swing position where your arms are in front and your right leg is in front as well, the figure four position, the kind that you see when you watch Micah Carnes do a chain of corks, and then the eagle again. If you hit all four of those positions, You'll have a solid, clean cork, and you'll be able to do cork chains, cork, 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 or combo your cork in and out of itself, because it starts and ends, again, in that eagle position. Thank you guys so much for watching. Cork is such an iconic move in tricking that I wanted to do a tutorial on it, just on landing the skill. If you guys have any questions about that, please write them down in the comments down below. Real quick, I want to say a huge thank you to all the patrons who have been supporting the series. You guys have been awesome. You guys have given me the freedom to start building this into more of a community, more of something that can actually help people. Thank you guys so much for helping me make that possible. It means the world to me. Keep doing what you're doing, keep training hard, and have a lovely day.